Queen Elizabeth II, 95, will celebrate her Platinum Jubilee in 2022 to mark her 70th year on the throne. Her historic reign, the longest ever by a British monarch, is to be marked with an extended bank holiday weekend from June 2 to 5. An exciting programme of public events will be held throughout the country and members of the royal family will take part in engagements across the UK. Royal historian Hugo Vickers Hugo helped plan the last three jubilees and said he had been quite active in promoting this one. Speaking to Express.co.uk, he stressed the importance of not overexerting the Queen at the celebrations. Mr Vickers said that concerns about the monarch's busy schedule have been present since her Silver Jubilee in 1977, when the Queen was still in her early 50s. He said, she's going to be 96 so you have to be very careful not to exhaust her. Years ago, in 1977 I wrote a little book. It's called, We Want the Queen. It's all about the celebrations that took place in 1977 in London. Sir Martin Charteris, her private secretary, wrote to the organisers and said, I accept the following engagements for the Queen. If I turn down a few it is with one view in mind, that she should remain hale and hearty in order, in the fullness of time, to celebrate her golden jubilee. That was in 2002 and we're 20 years on from that. He also said to the organisers, when they were putting together their plans, that he had two bits of advice. One was, you must not bore the public, and two, you must not kill the Queen, in other words you've got to make it fun for everybody and you mustn't exhaust her. Mr Vickers, who has profiled a string of 20th century figures, including the Queen Mother and the actress Vivian Lee, suggested that this jubilee people would need to come to the Queen. The writer has been put on a committee for platinum jubilee preparations taking place in Windsor. He said, you can't have the Queen coming out in carriages and things like that and doing things the whole time, but on these occasions, out she comes, and people have a lot of fun. Lots of people will tell you, oh I got a mug when I was at school for the Jubilee years ago, and they remember street parties, they remember having fun. Next year people will have to come to her. In the early Jubilees she would go on fantastic tours of the Commonwealth, she would go to Australia, New Zealand, Canada and other places. Now, obviously, she won't do that. They are going to have that long weekend. Windsor has also galvanised itself. They've got lots of good plans there too. I'm on a committee for that. I said to them, the thing I do know about Jubilees is that they don't just happen automatically. You have to inspire things to happen. You have to get things in place you've got to give people the opportunity to celebrate and then come along and have a good time.